Hi, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we'll give a demonstration of how to configure CATA containers on Oracle Linux 7. This allows us to run containers inside lightweight virtual machines. Compared to virtual machines, containers have a much lower overhead as they use the kernel of the host machine. There is a downside to that. This means they don't have the same level of isolation that a virtual machine has. CATA containers allow you to have the isolation of a virtual machine whilst retaining the feel and lifecycle of a container. The CATA runtime uses KVM and QEMU to automatically create a virtual machine with the container running inside it. These virtual machines are based on a stripped down OS image to keep them as lean as possible. The startup time is a little slower than a conventional container, but it's still very fast compared to a full blown virtual machine. The examples here are performed on a physical machine called Homer. All the commands are run as root, but they would work equally well using sudo. We use yum config manager to enable the ol7 kvm utils repository. We install the qemu package. We install the Oracle Cloud Native Environment release package, which configures and enables the repository. Now we can install the CATA runtime package. We install the Docker engine package. This is going to be a quick and dirty installation of Docker. There's a separate video on doing a proper Docker installation. We enable and start Docker. We have to make the CATA runtime available to the Docker engine. The most reliable way to do this is to add the runtime into the daemon JSON file. Depending on how you install Docker, this file may already exist and contain some settings. We did the quick and dirty Docker installation, so the file doesn't exist. We create the file with the settings to indicate the default runtime and the new CATA runtime. After changing the configuration, we reload to scan for changes and restart Docker. We can see the available runtimes in the output of the Docker info command. The output shows us the CATA runtime is now available. The simplest way to test the CATA runtime is to start a container using it. First we check the kernel version of our host machine. We run a container using the Oracle Linux 7 Slim image and check the kernel version inside the container. Since Docker containers use the host kernel, we get the same kernel version returned. Remember, we've not altered the default action of Docker we've just made a new runtime available. We repeat the test, but include the runtime equals CATA runtime flag. This means the container will be started using the CATA runtime rather than the default runtime. Now we get a different kernel version displayed. This is the kernel of the lightweight virtual machine the container is running inside. We're now able to run other containers using this runtime, giving us better isolation levels than conventional Docker containers. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.